Hey, what is good, YouTube? Hey, welcome to my channel, Midwest Maverick Sports. G right here. Hey, this is for NBA tonight, October uh, 19th, 2018, on a Friday. Uh, pretty good slate tonight, but I'm gonna give you a, uh, just a few picks here. So, uh, yeah, I'm only picking three games. I looked at the slate. I'm not liking several of them, and uh, running short on time, I put out. Uh, like I said, putting most of my focus into football right now. Um, but I sent out a couple videos so far <coughs> for NBA. Not doing too bad. A little over 500. Um, you know, with a couple close ones on the line. So, uh, but hey, like I said, welcome to my welcome to my channel. Uh, so for tonight, uh, first game I like is uh, you got the Kings at the Pelicans. Uh Last game, last matchup back in March, these two teams uh, matched up and New Orleans beat them by 13 on the road, like 114 to 101. Uh, you saw the Pelicans, how they performed at uh, at Houston, and I actually called it, I called them to cover that one too, but uh, so, and I expect them to do the same in this. They're given. 11 and a half. They're at their home opener. Um, Kings aren't very good. Yeah, they had not, uh, uh, a not too bad showing at home versus the Utah Jazz, but uh, Pelicans have some studs, you know, and you know, you hear all the rumblings about uh, Davis possibly being traded this season, um, you know, Lakers especially. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I know he's, he's, uh, you know, he's trying to build his value, you know, going for MVP. Uh, the guy's a stud, and he's going to be a problem for the Kings. Yeah, Willie Cauley-Stein, he'll be matched up against, but they're a home, home opener. Drew Holiday, you know, they'll be flying around. They got a nice squad, uh, and, you know, that's what they did against Houston. So, Layla 11 and a half at home. That's my first pick. Uh, hey, pick number two, I'm going to go with uh, – Oh, so, so you have Celtics getting three at Toronto. Um, I was actually surprised that Toronto game uh, that they didn't end up covering versus the Cavaliers. You know, it was a surprise to me. I thought that Cavs would fall flat on their face. I mean, they did late in the game, but I thought they would have done a lot worse with who they had. But Love did pretty well. I think they had 21 points. <clears throat> but tonight, so you have Celtics going on the road, which traditionally they're not near as good a road team as they are at home. But they're the better team. And these are the two teams that have, you know, been duking it out with the Cavs or next to the Cavs the last few years uh, for the top spot, their top seed in the East. And, you know, so Celtics are going to have a little bit of uh, – Revenge it, uh, revenge tonight. I like the matchup. I like the depth of the Celtics to get it done. Uh, Jalen Brown's a good defender and smart, uh, but I think Brown will be matched up on Kawhi mostly. So to contain him. So I'm going to go with. I actually think Celtics should be a favorite in this game. So. I'm going to take the three, and you should too. But I expect Celtics to win outright, so I'm going to take the three points. Uh, just, just Like I said, just too much all-around depth. I mean, look what they did. To, I mean, Sixers are a really good team. Really good. A lot of talent. Uh, they'll be up there in the East, battling for the East title this year. So uh, I expect them to have success tonight against the Raptors, the Celtics. So, like I said, take the three. The third game I'm picking tonight is the Cavaliers at the Wolves. Timberwolves, that is. So, you know, you have a love revenge game. All right, going in there to uh, Minnesota. Home opener for Minnesota. Coming off that loss at the Spurs. And like I said in my other video, and this will be, you'll, you'll see the trend here throughout the whole year is teams like the Wolves and the Bucks and 
uh, there's just a handful of teams in the Char uh, Charlotte Hornets that cannot play on the road. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Like they they just cannot. And if they're a road favorite, always fade them. Always. And Minnesota is one of that one of those teams. I don't like the line in this spot. What I like on the, in this game is the over. They'll be up and down the court, putting up a lot of points. I think the Timberwolves score 120 alone, same way like the Raptors did on the Cavs, and Cavs are going to get their points as well. So I'm liking the over the total here. Um, I think it's like 223. Uh, you know, I'm seeing a 220, 210 game. So take the over in my third pick in the Cavs, uh, Cavs Timberwolves game. So, oh, hey, real quick, yeah, I want to talk about last night. So, man, I'm a, so I'm a Lakers fan, and obviously watching LeBron in the Lakers uniform is weird as hell. Uh, but once again, and I think you're going to see a lot more this year, this season in the NBA, just so much non-defense being played and offense and teams running. Teams are building their rosters to beat teams that run and gun like the Houston Rockets, like the Warriors and those teams. So, and they're sacrificing defense on, uh, to get there. So, I typically stay away from over-unders early on, but man, the way that things are set up, I would be looking at a lot of overs. A lot of overs this year. I don't think Vegas is going to be, you know, Vegas is hesitant to get in that high 220s on the on the total and you know these games are going in 120s to you know one teens like look at the game last night uh in rip city with the blazers and the and the and the lakers went way over so there's something i want to point out there but hey those are my three picks tonight like i said late 11 and a half with the pelicans take the three with boston and take the over in the Timberwolves game for tonight, Friday, October 19th. And, uh, hey, check out my NFL I just put out earlier. I'm like, I'm liking those picks this week. I think it's about eight, eight or nine picks I put out. So, and I'm not going to pick stuff I don't like. I don't like picking every game just to pick it. Because I feel like, you know, I don't want to give a 50-50 chance out to anybody. You know, all my picks are, hey, I feel like, this team has a better chance of covering and why, you know, I'm not just going to pick a game or pick a, you know, just because. So, um, you know, I'm not going to put my money on 50, 50% 50 either. So, and you shouldn't as well. All right. So, Hey, that's a wrap. Check out my other videos. Check out my channel, Midwest Maverick sports, like subscribe, hit me back. Hey, catch you on the flip side, the wind side. Peace.